Welcome Virgos. I'm back y'all with another banging ass video. So if you are new to the channel, you may want to consider subscribing. Make sure you click the bell for the notifications, okay? So if you have Virgo anywhere like in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you can utilize this video. Um, these cards are pre-shuffled and it is a general read. So whatever, whatever pops out is going to pop out. It's meant for you to see. Take what applies and leave the rest. Whatever does not apply, we don't try to force things over here, okay? So let's talk. Oh, okay. Y'all got a jumper. Y'all got a jumper. Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle up a few more times. All right. Y'all feel like y'all are finally happy. Okay, we got the sun, the judgment, the ten of cups. Y'all are finally happy. Like y'all have finally reached some type of goal and y'all are happy. Okay. You do not, you didn't see this coming. Like you just didn't see it coming. Like it, it just came from out of nowhere. Like I feel like some of y'all may have did not believe in yourself or something like that. I don't know why, but y'all are happy, okay? Y'all are finally happy, yeah? You are stable, okay? Some of you are ready to get married, like, y'all ready to move in. Yes, yeah, see, things are looking good. You feel like on top of your game, okay? We got the King of Swords here in the past. Oh, y'all just got stuff that's dropped. Look at that. King of Pentacles in the future energy. Look at that. Look at that. And then y'all celebrating, okay? So let's see. We got the Strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo. We got the Knight of Wands. The Judgment, again, is revealed itself. What's the outcome of this? We got the Moon. All right. Why is the seven of cups here? I feel like some of you may be waiting on somebody to make up their mind on if there's going to be like, I'm getting a marriage, okay? Or taking things to the next level. You're waiting to see if somebody's going to take something to the next level. Why is the three of wands here? The ace of pentacles. Like you're waiting on the perfect moment. Yes, like I'm getting like you don't see something coming. You're not sure or something. We got the Hermit card here. You guys, it's energy, two of swords, and the Death card. Like, you didn't see something coming. You hope, you're hoping that something works. Okay, but you're waiting on the perfect opportunity. Okay. But see, you feel like you, you don't want to miss this opportunity. You didn't want to miss this opportunity or you didn't miss the opportunity. Why is the Four of Wands here? Yes, there's a marriage here. Okay, someone could be legally married or someone just got engaged or there is getting ready to be a proposal. Okay, and somebody is going to be successful here with the six of wands. Okay, six of wands oh, and the star. Look at that. Yes, somebody is saying yes. Oh, look at it. What's at the bottom of the deck? The ace of wands. Somebody's saying yes. Okay, saying yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, like y'all are being recognized. This I've been getting a lot of celebrity energy here. Like I've been getting the six of wands and the star card. I think I got that for Capricorn's energy too. So if you're dealing with the Capricorn or something like that. But this is Aquarius's energy as well. But I'm getting yes, see, look at the sun. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like I'm getting like y'all feeling on top of y'all game. Okay, King of Pentacles for future energy. Look at this new money, baby. New money, new money, new money. New money, yes. Yes, y'all feeling like new money, okay? So maybe you trying to gain the confidence. Um, 
I feel like some of y'all are holding back, but you're trying to gain the confidence here, you're trying to gain some type of confidence here. Some of y'all are dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But somebody's asking. Somebody's asking or or um why is this having a wand here? Yeah, somebody's spying on you. Somebody's spying on you. Why is the page of swords here? The seven of swords. Somebody's spying on you to see if you're lying or cheating or something like that. Or keeping secrets. Why is the judgment card here? Yes, there's a final decision to move on from something and close a chapter of worries, of worries. Like, you're done worrying, okay? For some, there could have been like a breakup, but now it looks like somebody wants to work on something. Okay, we got the moon card here. The Knight of Cups. Hangman in the tower. Yeah, see, you're waiting for somebody to pop the big question. Okay, you. I feel like some of y'all are at a level now. You feel like, okay, we leveled up. Now, when are you going to pop the question? When are you going to, you know, make this thing official? Um, yeah, so we can have a real good chance at being together. Okay, for some of you, this is definitely a baby mother, baby father situation, a mother father situation. We got the emperor and the empress. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm getting like, there is definitely something that's brewing here. Something is brewing here. Something about taking something to the next level. It looks like you guys, this money is no longer looking funny. Y'all are coming out of a situation where there may have been a big rain cloud. There is now sunshine, baby. There is now the sun is shining bright. <laughs> All right, so let's look in love, okay? So let's see how you feel about your person. We got let your friends help you. We got codependency. And you deserve love. You're staying optimistic. But at the same time, I'm getting free yourself and stay optimistic. So there's still like an open space. So I don't, this may be a, uh, like, a, I'm not saying like an open relationship, but there's just like a sense of freedom. Um, not being tied down, like not feeling boggled down or tied down. But I feel like um, you feel like you just you know what it, exactly what it is that you deserve, okay? And I feel like you're trying to create a space where where this person feels safe. Um, how does this person feel about Virgo? Deception. Uh, so they're the ones who's watching you to see. If you're being deceptive, who you're calling, who you're on the phone with, you got to keep an open mind and worth waiting for. So they're waiting for some type of mess up or screw up from you. Um, so maybe you're trying to create this safe space for them to get them to trust you. Um, because someone here does need to heal some family issues here, okay? There's some healing that some healing work that needs to be done. Then we got attraction and wedding. Okay, and passion and soulmate, heart to heart conversations. I'm getting that there's a lot of passion going on, a lot of sex and going on. You may feel like this, they may feel like you're their soulmate, and they, they love having these heart to heart conversations with you. And I feel like a heart to heart conversation is about a wedding. Okay, so they want to tie the knot with you. Okay, they want to tie the knot, but they want to get rid of this deception or sneakiness that's going on. Okay, sneaky business. All right, let's see what messages we got for the angels. What advice should my Virgos take? Give me some advice for my Virgos. Oh, no, this is just too much. Too many cards popped out. Okay. 
helpful people. Perfect timing. Forgiveness. Not the right time. Big happy changes. Give me one more. If you believe. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, sorry. All right, so we got helpful people, perfect timing, forgiveness. And then we also have not the right time, help, um, big happy changes, and if you believe. Why is helpful people here? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, the Two of Swords, um, and the Four of Cups. You're not telling someone... Uh, you're keeping something to yourself. You're tired of somebody. May, you may feel like somebody's tired of the back and forth. Okay, so uh, there's a perfect timing here. Five of Wands. There's some type of competition or battle. Um. Yeah, so you're kind of like careful. You're kind of careful about what you say because you feel like there's some competition here. All right, so we got forgiveness. Nine of Swords, yeah. There's been some sleepless nights, okay. Some crying. There's been some. There's been some hard times, okay. Yeah, the Three of Swords. There's been some. There's been some. Some things going on, but I feel like somebody's coming with an apology and wanting to start fresh. Why well, is not the right time here? The Empress. It may not be the right time to. Uh, Yeah, it's like wait for the right moment or the right opportunity. Two of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles here. Why is the Empress here? The Lovers. Someone's mother could be involved. You're waiting on the right moment to tell a mother or an aunt or a sister, something like that. Because it's something about um, the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. This is ending something and moving on like making a final decision to move on but there is some big happy changes somebody could be taking things very serious like taking a marriage with the ten of pentacles okay you are having to possibly talk to your parents or because i'm getting the king of swords and the queen of swords these are definitely authority figures for sure for sure and the king of pentacles here about a relationship so if you believe Knight of Pentacles. All right. The world. Yeah, I'm getting. If you believe that this person um, is going to do the right thing, I feel like some of y'all are going to try. It's just like kind of like waiting and seeing. Like waiting and see how things are going to go. I feel like things were kind of slow and the slow snail's pace in the past. But I feel like a chapter is closing. Okay, and I feel like you're going to wait and see where, where this goes. But I feel like your intentions is to have like a ring or take things, bump things up to the next level, take things serious, make something official. Yeah, you want to see what your haters got to say. <laughs> When they hit a shocking news. Yeah. I'm getting like some of y'all, there is there is a marriage, a proposal. Um, so some of you may be getting proposed to really soon, or you just got proposed to, or something like that. So yeah. All right, Virgos. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, honeys. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. If you're interested in booking a personal, make sure that you reach out to me via email. All of that information is in the Dropbox below. As well, guys, if you want to check out the website, that information is in the Dropbox below as well, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.